Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing with you Annie's one week update. So I have little Annie here. She is making a lot of noise, but she's actually sleeping. Can you say hi? Woo! Let's lift you up. Say hi everyone. She's not very impressed with being moved around. Let's get you comfy again. So she actually just had a feed not that long ago and that's why she's all sleepy. Um, one week postpartum, one week update for her. I just can't believe it. Like, I think because she wasn't due for another two and a half weeks, I still feel like we shouldn't be here and I shouldn't be filming this, so it's really strange. But um, the first week has gone amazingly. It's been wonderful. I mean, it's been hard as having a newborn is. But, oh, she's making little puppy noises. She's doing really well. The first three nights were horrendous. <laughs> she was really unsettled. Um, the first night especially, she was just... She classed her feet all night, which I was expecting, but she just needed to be on me. She was just really unsettled. I got, like, zero sleep that night. I think the first three nights I got, like, one or two hours sleep each night. It was pretty hard. Um, and she was just unsettled. She had like, she passed lots of meconium on the first night, like every nappy pretty much. And she just seemed really uncomfortable. So I think she was just working out all the kinks. And then on night four, um, she started sleeping some longer stretches and she did really, really well. And since then she goes at least two hours between her feeds at night, but she's done like three and a half, four hours on for a couple nights. In regards to feeding, um, if you haven't checked out my video um, about my breastfeeding journey with my first son, then go ahead and check that out. I'll link it right here so you can go and see that. Um, but the first night she cluster fed and like when she latched on initially when she was born, I knew that the latch wasn't right but I was like, oh, we'll work on it. So the first 24 hours she was exclusively breastfed. And after that, that 24 hours, I was like, this hurts. It feels exactly like it did with my son. And I just made an executive decision that I was going to bottle feed her from there on out. Because I wanted to enjoy this time with her and not dread every feeding. And I knew that the lactation consultant was going to say to me, oh, you just need to work on it. You just need to practice. Because the positioning and everything was right. I knew what it should feel like. I knew what... Um, a good latch looks like and everything and it looked right but it didn't feel right and so I just decided that we were going to bottle feed and I haven't regretted that decision for a second so far it has made everything so much more stress free and I've just I actually enjoy middle of the night feeds because I'm not in pain and she's so squishy and cuddly and wonderful so um yeah so for the first 24 hours she was exclusively breastfed and then over the course of the next 24 hours we introduced the bottle but I was still pumping during that time and um, so she was getting colostrum so she got colostrum for like the first three days pretty much and then after that we introduced formula and now she's exclusively formula fed and I um, continue to pump because obviously I still had milk and so I've just stored some of that in the freezer so if she gets sick or she gets like conjunctivitis or something I can whip that out and use that for different things so that's how feeding is going. At the moment, she's taking between 25 and 50 mils per bottle, and she feeds during the day. I'm waking her up during the day because she just sleeps all the time. Um, so I'm feeding her every two and a half hours um, during the day, give or take a bit. Like, it's sort of every two to three hours, but at, on average, it's two and a half hours. If she wakes before then, then obviously I feed her if she's hungry. Um, but I try not to let her go longer than three hours during the day just because it is... If I feed her more often during the day, it is tending towards um, longer stretches at night, which is awesome, obviously. So, um, her last feed is usually around <clears throat> between 10 and 11 o'clock at night. My husband does that one, so I can get an early night. And then she has been waking usually twice. Um, last night, for instance, she had a feed at, oh, what time was it? 10.30, and then she woke again <clears throat> at 12.30, and I fed her, and then she slept until like quarter past four and I fed her and then I think she woke around seven and so um yeah really good nights she's sleeping in what we call what we have it's um, called a rock and play sleeper which I have referred to before I don't know which pregnancy update it was in um but that's doing so well it's got a slight incline and it's 
it's just wonderful. She loves sleeping in there. And it's great because it's portable. I can move it around the house. Um, she is sleeping in her own room because she's so noisy. She's so noisy, guys. Like, she's just, like, constantly grunting and making noises. And I can't sleep through that. So, um, I can hear her. Our room's right next door, so she's fine. But she's doing really well. She um, has been, a, like, sh slightly jaundiced looking. So, we've been putting her in... The sun room every afternoon to have a little bit of sunbathing time and help with that. What else can I tell you? She has had some issues with constipation just in the last couple days, which is probably because of the formula. So we have started using coloxal drops. I started those yesterday and already things are moving again, so she's much more comfortable. And yeah, I don't know if there's too much more to update you on. She's doing really well. She's barely ever cries at the moment. Um, I'm enjoying this sleepy newborn stage where they're just happy to be sort of plonked down anywhere and... Um, I just want to hold her all the time, <laughs> like all the time. Jack loves her, he's getting more confident with her, um, like he just thinks she's a doll and it, it's gorgeous. Um, but yeah, one week along and she's doing well. Her cord fell off on day four, um, so yeah, that's all gone, which is good because it's such a pain, it's always in the way. Um, and yeah, and she loves bath time. We gave her her first bath and I've been doing that every night now because I like to do a nighttime routine and I just use coconut oil on her afterwards to help prevent dry skin um, and yeah she loves it she's not like her brother he screamed through his first few baths but she just lies there and looks around and enjoys it so that's been nice yeah that's been nice we're working on trying to like wake her up a bit during the day um, and she is getting better at that slowly and it'll improve day by day but um, yeah we're just enjoying this time just getting to know her and relaxing and all of that. I hope you enjoyed this update and I'm sorry she's not really facing the camera. I feel bad about that. I feel like you haven't really seen her all that much. Here's your little face. There's your little face. Oh it's all scrunched up. It looks like she's got blue eyes at the moment guys. We'll see what happens with that. And again I will say thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this please hit the thumbs up button. If you want to keep up to date with us subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next update. Bye.